Have you ever had a capacitor from the late 2000s? One farad? Best Buy slapped it on there, said your electrical's good? Well, now there are capacitors that actually do the trick. We got the U-Start Ioxus 1100 cold crank amp, 24 watt hour ultra capacitor battery. And I know a lot of people talked about this thing, but they never actually tested how much power this thing can actually generate. With this ultra capacitor, you're gonna need to run a battery in line. You can't just run the capacitor itself. We're gonna use two JY NXTs, tiny little batteries, test these, and then also test the capacitor so we can find out how much power this is actually making. So this capacitor has 375 farads. Now, what is a farad? Does it equate to amp hours? Not exactly, but this thing has a lot of power, but not much of it, if that makes sense. There's a lot of power for a short time. Capacitors give you that power that you need really fast, faster than any kind of lead acid or AGM battery, and even faster than lithium, but does that even matter? And for $400, I mean, it depends what you're trying to use it for. One thing I want to mention is this thing is really heavy. Whoa, this is heavy. This is over 30, almost 40 pounds of capacitor. We're going to head over to the test bench and we're going to test the ultra capacitor UC31 finally and see if it's even worth the $400. Is it worth to put a capacitor in your car? Let's find out. On the front, it says you start Ioxys 1100 crank amps, 24 watt hours. So how much power can this deliver and what is it actually good for? All right, so bear with me here. This is not the proper way to connect your amplifier load to the battery. You'll want to always have your amplifier connected to the capacitor and then to the battery. But for quick testing purposes, I have it set up like this so we can see the difference and how it charges and pulls power from your electrical and also gives the power to your electrical. We need a control. So what we're going to do is we're going to test to see what this JY NXT does. There's two of them. So let's see what kind of numbers we can get and then we're gonna hook up the capacitor and see the difference. So we got our PAL tester and we got a power supply, but I'm actually gonna have the power supply off for these tests, just so we're seeing just what the batteries do. And then the same thing for the capacitor with the batteries. Really the only way to test a capacitor to see what it's actually doing and where it's doing it, because that is important. And I'm gonna show you guys that. All right, so we're gonna do a test of 100 amps and see where our voltage drops 12.8 volts pulling 100 amps of current 1303 watts just a battery no capacitor the next control test is going to be down to 12 volts how much current can we get right about there Ooh, 11.7 made 1900 watts 162 amps so that's pretty impressive for what these batteries are. Yeah, these are, I think, 30 C and they're two amp hours each. So 60 amps continuous times 220. We're definitely pulling over the rated amount and that's why we're dropping down below that 12 volt threshold. But still, I wanted to get a control. Now that we have our numbers, 1300 and 1900, let's find out how much more this capacitor actually brings to the table. First test, 1300 watts with 100 amps of current. Let's find out how much more of a difference it's making with just the current. All right, so we're at 12.9 volts and we're making 1,352 watts. Honestly, that's not a huge jump and then adding the huge ultra capacitor power bank over here. All right, let's bring it down to 12. Well, we did about 11.7 .7 volts, but around 12 to 11.7. .7, so we can see if we can get more than 1,900 watts does this ultra capacitor make any difference? Whoa! I don't know if you noticed that, but we were good to about 12.1 volts. And then this actually went into protect. The ultra capacitor went into protect, but it actually shows you on top of the capacitor as well that it is in a 
protect. Error mode, now we're back to run, we're good. You can see what happens when you start to over discharge the thing, it doesn't have enough current to be pulled from the batteries, and it says no bueno, try that again buddy. Let's try not to put it in protect, but see what we can get down to around 12 volts. Wow, see, we're already at 4,000 watts, 12, and then it just goes into protect. And I have a feeling that has to do a lot with the battery. You're past what the battery can do, and then this is the capacitor doing its thing. And the difference between the two, I mean, 312 amps from 160, uh, I feel like it's doing at least what the batteries are doing, at least. So you're just getting more electrical, right? So that's always a good thing. But you could see there wasn't really much of a difference at 100 amps, but whenever you needed to pull more power, there was a difference. It wasn't falling on its face. It, it can't even get that past 12 volts with this setup. It's just, it's going into protect. The capacitor is doing everything that it can. And this capacitor is good for maybe, I would say 2000 watts. That's literally it to add on to what all you already have. And if you're pulling more than that, you better have the batteries to back it up. With the ultra capacitor, I wanna show you how it kind of works, where it works, where it's gonna be beneficial, where it's not, and all that fun stuff. So over here, we have the application. And you can see on the green there, that is fully charged. Start button, don't press it, it's not a turbo button. I wish it was. You can see it's a little blurry, it's three amps, right? And that is pretty much just the amount of current that this fan is discharging for the discharge pile tester. Let's just pull 2000 watts for a few seconds. No power supply on. Okay, so we're at 2000, let's bring it down a little bit. Right around there, about 2000 watts. And you can see the capacity bars going down, down, down. And then now it's starting to just really act up. We're down to 11 volts. I can't even get anything else. Like that just fell on its face. That's how much capacity we have between the JYNXTs and the ultra capacitor. All right, now if you noticed on the right hand side there, we're down to 43 watts, three amps, and on here it's fully charged. So as soon as it's fully charged, it's not gonna take anything more from your electrical system once you hit that 14.3, 14.4 volts and anything above that over here, this power supply is still dumping 20 amps into the battery. What that means is simply this. After 14.4, it's not doing anything for you. It's almost the exact same setup as an AGM or lead acid, but a little bit different. Uh, I feel like AGM really doesn't help until you're in the 13.3, 13.2 range, uh, and lead acid even lower, 5SLTO even lower, um, you know, just stuff like that. Um, but still, I don't know, I feel like it's it has a purpose, it really does. It gives us a ton of power over top what this battery can do. Like there's no way that this little tiny JY can do all that power. It just can't compared to what this capacitor can do. But again, look how big it is. It's huge. I love these JY NXTs. I love small batteries, but I wanted to use these to test to see what they did. Just a quick little test and uh, also to show the capacitor and how it works. So the UC31 did okay. Um, I got this off of Scott Dilbeck about three years ago and I had it in my pilot with the quad box and man, it seemed like it did a lot and it actually did and it worked out perfect with the LTO5S and the lithium iron phosphate JY40 and hey, I'm not ragging on this thing for $400. I feel like I would rather build my own lithium bank or buy an excess power Titan S6 or, you know, pretty much anything. Lithium iron phosphate batteries, just to have more capacity. This has a lot of power, but not for long. And there are other reasons for capacitors, but that's a whole nother video. And there's a lot out there too. But by the way, uh, you might see a little bit more videos from me. So uh, if you guys like this kind of content, like, subscribe, tune in for my next one, live shows, whole nine. And uh, as always, stay living loud. I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh God, that is heavy.